Let's write our code. I will use our ID. I will use Pico Pi. We will write our code line by line. For start, we will import some libraries. I will import time library. You know this from time. I will import sweep library. From machine library, I will import some for declaration of pin library for using kmwm buzzer for ADC then I will import network library we will use this library for uh, internet connection and for sending data to an internet environment we will use vr request library so we will declaration some library for things pink write ap key library key variable we will use this for ap key i will show you i am in this channel i am going to ap keys button and you see this write ap key key i will copy and paste it here for internet setting i will write http headers variable like this content type content type this is a dic uh, dictionary declaration application json closing the parentheses so i will declaration buzzer using machine library and pwm library in pin 20 i will declaration OLED white is 128 8 is 65 our sdr pin is equal to machine dot pin for port link our sgn will be Piped link and for you to see, I will say machine dot utc which zero channel rsda is variable i declaration earlier sgl is this i declaration earlier and our frequency will be. 1 million 1 2 3 4 5 6 and for bullet declaration i will say oh i forget to import the oret declaration from pico breaks import bullet ssd team 6 utc for rgb i will declaration import library for temperature sensor and maybe we will use this library for OLED I import this library I am copying and pasting it because I don't wanna write something wrong this OLED has this weight this OLED has this height height and weight and this will be connecting client in to c i will declare rgb for rgb library we will use like this six is the which pin connected to i am setting brightness to 0 0.4 and if rgb is open i am setting off pixels fill zero 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 and show this to i am declaration temperature sensor the hash the which pin is element it's input it's blocked 
I am checking credit time because for receiving data from temperature sensing I am giving one second delay so let's start our internet connection I uh, add a variable SSD which is will be my internet connection name and I am setting a variable password for internet connection VLAN equals the network library properties VLAN network STA connect to internet set active like internet name and internet password I will give some time for connection to internet and I will show it in OLED so OLED dot text what will show power on which located let's say 32 yeah zero position and OLED dot text waiting for connection which position 20 to 30 we will show it in this OLED code so I will give some time delay let's say two seconds which will be enough after two seconds I say clear the OLED screen let's say a maximum wait for 10 seconds we will use this for securing the internet connection while while maximum wait less than 10 bigger than 0 if the internet connection doesn't start like vlan.start I will check uh, the internet connection is started or not if vlan status less than 10 or VLAN status bigger than or less than 3 delay maximum weight less 1 this print function will be for serial equipment, serial monitor I will give some delay one second is there a error it will show us race run time error network connection failed this doesn't show in OLED just showing in serial monitor as connection happened connect before starting, I have to show the ID editor. This there was a variable, the the temperature variable. Temperature is equal to zero, and humidity. So we will go to infinite loop while true. I will. Clear the OLED screen and we will try. I said that uh, the time is right now is bigger than current time, like two seconds. Take current time again. Try Pico measure. We do this because sometimes. You know, uh, sensors cannot measure something. Instead of giving some minus one or zero, we will wait the data or set it like this. So let's measure temperature. 
pico temperature dot temperature give us a temperature value like for humidity pico dot temp dot humidity give us humidity value so let's write this value into OLEX sequence OLEX test temp is equal to I divide this because we have to put all it a uh, sink value not for not confusion I am separating things I said I change it to value to citrine and I don't want any floating lemon so I will change translate to integer variable and this will be shown in 5220 I will do this for Immunity also, but not zero. I will put this in tent. So let's show in the OLED screen. That show. Well, let's wait like half second. We have to send this to things being environment. They hash the I will set a variable they hash their readings and give this to a dictionary definition I said it to be make two field field one was the temperature value field two was the humidity value And I am setting a new variable called request and this will be the sending firstly I will write the things pink address ap dot things pink dot com slash update AP key. This uh, internet address is like this. You can copy and paste it from here. Get AP come out quick. Plus the, the IP key that I we will call. And this is for internet settings sorry sending data and this is for the uh, internet setting send this request close I want to show the sending data so I will print it until now we set some variables, some temperature sensors. Oh, so until now I have to, I want to, so I want to give an explanation. We did some import library, we set some variable things being APK, we set buzzer, we set OLED screen, we set RBG. We said the HT one, uh, which, which was temperature sensor, and we that we variable our internet name and password. We connected that in internet. For connection, we wait some time. We check is there an error. We set some variable. So we put infinite loop, we clear the OLED, we measure the temperature sensor. Then this, this measurement we print it in OLED. So then we send this data to things being environment. Let's continue add some stuff. If temperature, let's say, B 
bigger than 25 set RGB as red for this we set arcs our part to 25 and 5 and the other part 0 and show in this pixel let's say if temperature is bigger than 10 and temperature less than 25 this time we will give yellow color holding this the red part and the blue part will be 25 and 5 let's say if temperature less than 10 RGB show some blue lines 0, 0, 2, 25 and let's say just give some warning if temperature less than 4 we put warning there is a danger of icing and give some bosom buzzer dot to t this is for setting buzzer frequency with this frequency buzzer will be give some noise and this noise will be given in like 25 second frequency when this over we shut the buzzer our code is finished let's upload the rp copyrix before started i reboot my copyrix no i didn't reboot so i will reboot this copyrix let's see if you can show in here upload firmware when uploaded is done, I will connect Picobrix. After connection, I have to upload library. Run. Let's see, is there a... Oh, there is a... There is no wrong.